Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Wilderness and today we are going to show you how to build screens to put in your windows. I will be going over all the items that we use to build these screens. They will be in the description below with links on Amazon so you can build them yourself. Okay, so the first step when you're building these screens is you need to measure your windows. And I measured our windows from this interior ledge right here all the way over to this other interior ledge. It's a perfect fit for the frame. It fits perfectly through the edge right here. So it's flush against the, the window. And what you wanna do is then also measure from your bottom rail all the way up into the top of your gutter rail here, your rain gutter or your rain guard up in there. And for ours, it was 33 inches or so right here and about 24 and an eighth or so up. And that's how, how we built these screens. Now, when you build these, when you do your measurements, you don't want to cut pieces exactly to your measurements of your windows because you have these corner brackets that extend out a bit. They send out about an inch on each side. So you're probably going to take an um, inch and a half to two inches off each side off your main measurement to get this into your measurement. This one here on this one is 30 inches and a quarter, whereas it's normally like about 33 inches or 32 some inches across. So I just wanna talk about the frames that we chose. The frames we chose, they're much thicker and are used in storm windows a lot because they have, they're much more rigid than your standard screen frames. Um, I like them because they're also, I can cut them with a regular saw and it works actually quite well. Um, and with these frames, they, have, they come with a slight bow in them so that when you put them together, you can see that the screen is kind of very tense. So when you put it in the window, that tension actually holds it very well in the window. Okay, now I've cut all my pieces. Um, I have my long ones here for the lengthwise, and then these are my uprights. Um, the screen frames are 5 sixteenths. That's the distance of the, of the uh, window trim from the inside ledge to the outside. And we have to make sure that when you get your corner pieces that you get 5 sixteenths pieces, or if you get different size frames, that you get corner pieces that fit your frames. So what you do with these is you just insert them in. A bit of a push. Make sure that your interior ledge here is on the inside, they're on the same side. So that's where your screen is gonna be placed. It's kind of like Legos. Okay, now your frame is complete. Now it's time to put the screen in. So before we put our screen in, I wanna talk about the screen that we're using. The screen that we're using is 90% solar screen. Um, it's a little bit thicker than your standard screen, and you can see that the mesh holes are a little bit smaller. They'll still keep out bugs. This is also why we're doing full-size screens over our, our windows. They only open halfway, but not only does this keep the bugs out, but this will also reduce the amount of sunlight coming into the bus. So because we're using solar screen, the manufacturer of these frames recommends you use a spline that's point 0.155. They have different spline thicknesses for different screen types. So if you're putting in your standard steel mesh screen, solar screen, pet screen, uh, all of those will have different spline thicknesses. So be aware of that when you are building your own screens. Okay, so now we're ready to put our screen mesh into our screen frame. As you can see here, our screen frame is below and our mesh is over top. Now I've cut it to be about the size of the frame and that you wanna do because when you install your spline, it's gonna suck it down some and you can always trim up the excess afterwards. Okay, so this is called a spline wheel and it's used to install the screen. On one side of the wheel, it has a kind of a concave edge on it and the other side is more of a rounded edge. Um, it's for installing the screen spline and what you do is just push it in here into the corner. I like starting in the corners and then you'll roll it down the edge and at the same time creating tension and pushing it into the screen frame. And this is what's gonna hold your screen in place. Definitely folding this up really weird.
Okay, now we got our screen installed into our frame. It's time to put it in the window. Nice, snug fit. So what we're using are these screen clips. Um, they are flush mounts, so there's no, some of them have like little um, step ups on them so that they're higher up, but these ones are flush. We're using these little self-tapping screws. So though we are using uh, these self-tapping screws, um, because the body metal on this bus is pretty thick and with the monster liner, it's creating some slippage and I've already now dinged my paint up over there. So we're gonna do a little t a little tap with the with the uh, driver, and then put our screw in. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's in there tight. This one's out. Hello. Okay, so they work fine. They're great. Yeah. Two down, eight more to go. Um, hope this video is informative for you guys um, and hope it gives you uh, some good information for when you install your own screens. If you have any questions, uh, leave your comments below.